Hi everyone, Teddy Baldassar from teddybaldassar.com. In this video, we're gonna be looking at a watch from Junghans with the Meister Calendar. So if you're new to this channel, this is a channel where we cover watches available for purchase on our website, teddybaldassar.com as a full authorized dealer. So in this video, deep dive on this timepiece, final points of consideration at the end, but also throughout the video, if you wanna purchase this watch, link will be in the description down below, as well as a place where you can book a time with one of our dedicated watch specialists as well. But guys, let's get into the video and take a closer look at this watch. When a watch enthusiast hears the name Junghans, the mind immediately travels to the Max Bill collection that has come to define Junghans in the modern era. Home to the most stripped down, minimalist, Bauhaus inspired designs in the Junghans catalog, the Max Bill has grown in popularity to become one of the best dress watches in the price range, starting around $1,000. However, as is often the case for a brand with an undisputed icon, other also excellent model families can simply be overlooked, with the Junghans Meister collection serving as an excellent example. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Junghans Meister Calendar, a watch that combines Junghans' German accented design language with a more modern execution and a rare complication for its price range under $2,500. So starting with a conversation on the Meister calendar on the wrist, the 40.4 millimeter wide by 44.9 millimeter long case exhibits a wearing experience with several traits I have come across and just come to expect from Junghans watches. First, the lug to lug is impressively short for the case diameter, meaning even this 40.4 millimeter metric broader for a dress watch is under control thanks to the abbreviated lugs. Also, even with the level of complication on display here, the watch is surprisingly slender at just over 12 millimeters in height. Another aspect is its extremely slender bezel, allowing additional real estate to be occupied by the dial and therefore making the watch appear slightly larger in practice, or at least that dial to appear larger in practice. Overall, the watch, I would say, wears true to size or at least close to it. Just understand that the dial is going to make up the majority of that wearing dimension. Set between somewhat inconvenient 21 millimeter lugs, a tan genuine leather strap is anchored to the watch below the level of the central case, making the gap between the central case and the strap minimal to non-existent when looking at the watch straight on, which is a nice touch that demonstrates the thought that went into this piece. The strap itself is supple, though not necessarily in keeping with what you might expect at this price range. I would say maybe look at some third-party straps. And if you're familiar with Young Hans as well, this is also a place where they certainly will catch their stride. They're typically amazing when it comes to optionality in different straps. As is almost always the case with Junghans, the entire case is highly polished from the slender lugs to the rounded case back and on the small five millimeter push pull crown with the Junghans star signature on top. The architecture is also restrained with this watch exhibiting a saucer like shape, which is especially prominent with the case back, making this one especially comfortable against the wrist and allowing this one to wear more compact when strapped on. Again, taking up a view of the watch's front facing surface, we have a dome sapphire crystal coated with an anti-reflective coating that unfortunately is not the best in practice in terms of glare, but still shows a view of that striking complicated dial lying just beneath. With the typical calendar display, you'd expect a relatively busy dial layout that might occasionally call for a bit of a squint to capture the information you're after. However, this being a Junghans, even the denser information set is handled with restraint and the obvious influence of minimalism is at play here. Set over a deep blue sunray primary surface, slender hour indices are applied at 12, 3, 6, and 9 and printed elsewhere with a straightforward linear minute track in between. At 10 and two, we have the first of our calendar functions visible through the neatly faceted apertures with the day indicator window at 10 and the month clearly displayed through an opposing window at two. At six, a circular sub-register balances the display of the numerical date with a 31 day scale and a slender hand rotating over a subtle but elegant moon phase display that'll ensure you'll be up to date on the moon's waxing or waning situation. The deep blue moon phase display stands out a bit more on the other dial colors than it does here with this blue on blue effect, though this is still probably my favorite color variant after seeing them all in person. At the center, a polished Dauphine style handset manages its time telling duties with both the hour and minute hands also laying claim to impressively slim slices of luminescent material that unfortunately aren't going to be very effective in practice, but still nice to see it there. Dial text is limited to the brand's word mark and a tiny logo at noon, and the dial as a whole makes refined use of negative space while still allowing the higher level of complexity to shine. Like a few other complicated Junghans models, the additional functionality of the watch is coming from a modular caliber. For a movement in this range, essentially the only way to execute a higher level complex 
application like this calendar watch is usually with a modular construction. Essentially, a time only or date caliber from ETA utilized here receives an additional module from Dubois de Praz. In this case, the leader in Swiss modules that utilizes the winding and timing mechanism from the base movement to add the additional complications. Given the module rests on top of the base movement, these executions are typically thick, so it's impressive to see a watch's felt height here. Setting is a bit weird at first with the calendar functions being accessed with recessed case pushers almost invisibly set into the case back, but it becomes straight forward once you get the hang of it. Decoration and finishing is also nice for the price point with some Geneva striping, polished screwed heads, and some nice hits of polish in other areas, making this caliber both complicated and pretty attractive. Timekeeping was solid as well with this watch managing plus two to plus four seconds a day when we tested it across five different positions, despite not having any advertisement of heightened level of regulation. So good to see here. In terms of operation here, you're looking at a 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate for Hertz, features hacking and hand winding, hacking stop in the second hand when you pull the crown to the farthest position in a power reserve of 38 hours. So now some final thoughts on this Junghans Meister calendar. So a few cons to begin, I would say to begin here, it's a solid movement, but the modular construction might put some people off, uh, but I don't think this is going to be as as much of a concern here, just given the fact that there are really no alternatives to going this route. Some people might complain on the size because this is so dress oriented. I think a lot of this is going to be dictated by the caliber inside. And then the case pushers might add some complexity with wear. But why I thought this watch was so interesting is really coming down to when you think about a calendar watch under even $5,000, there's not many brands even offering anything up. And to see Junghans infusing this cool minimalist style with a calendar function, I think they're in a great position and are poised to do this well, given how they're able to take complex ideas and simplify them in a way where it doesn't feel overly cluttered. And I think this is a perfect representation of that. Finishing is solid when you're talking about the dial. I think it looks really sharp. Uh, the case itself, pretty minimal in its approach, but I think that goes hand in hand with the design that I think is the leading factor of this piece. To get a wash design as clean as this, and getting a calendar function and a watch under $2,500 is pretty hard to come by. Many brands are just not even going near calendar watches. Another brand that comes to mind in this price range is Longines. They will do some calendar functions, but it's usually a short list of brands that are even approaching this idea. And the one cool thing about Junghans is they have their own identity with pulling it off. If you look at this watch compared to a lot of traditional calendar watches, I don't think it's necessarily pulling from any one place. And I think they've been able to maintain their identity while pulling off a pretty value packed package here to be able to pull off this calendar. All right, guys, well, thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Really would appreciate that. Also, this watch is available on teddyballister.com, full authorized dealer of 30 brands, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, and a full factory warranty for all the new products that we offer. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, see you all next time.